Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. Third and Main does it again. This isn't the Lux box. This is the brand new semi-annual modern traditionals box. I literally have goosebumps on my arms. I am so excited to open this box. So a little bit about this new box. It is only twice a year. So you can get this box by itself twice a year and be done. Or if you already have your quarterly subscription, you can add this box on as well to get six deliveries in a year. That's more my speed. <laughs> more is more. And I'm excited to see how this guy plays with our current contemporary boxes and our current modern traditional boxes. So I just opened my spring 23 contemporary box and my modern traditional box. I will link that right up here. Super pleased. Actually, the pieces were so basic that it made me a little more excited than normal. And I know that's gonna be a weird phrase to hear, but when you go watch the video, you're totally gonna to get what I'm saying. Uh, they're just great pieces. And I decorated three little areas in that video to show you how the Modern Traditionals box looks. Have I been saying Modern Traditionals? Oh y'all, this is gonna get me. Let me try this again. I decorated in three places with the Modern Farmhouse box and the Contemporary box. And those two played well together and they played so, so well with their past boxes. We pulled it all out. This desk was so full, it was spilling over to the floor. So link is down below also if you wanna see the spring modern farmhouse in the spring contemporary, I give a huge thumbs up. I'm gonna be a little judgy on this. A, because I'm super excited. I'm glad it's here. But I want to add it in addition to my current boxes and I need to make sure it plays well. So let me shimmy around. We'll run through the price and a couple of points and then I'm gonna pull everything out and we'll evaluate the quality, the curation, uh, how much is in the box, what are our thoughts. And then we'll turn around and push it up against all the past boxes that we've already received to see if it's a good match. Okay, let me hop down scoot around and reset to dump this puppy out. Oh, before I run off, I feel like I should do this. Look how huge this thing is. It's like ginormous. Okay, I like halfway am still suspicious that my stool that's down here is gonna flop over. I guess we're gonna see. Okay. This is the semi-annual, brand new, third and main modern traditionals box. It is 275 and it comes two times a year. You can get it in and of itself or you can get it alongside your quarterly box. If, just in case you're new here, they have the quarterly modern farmhouse, the quarterly contemporary, and those are the two boxes I just opened. They have the quarterly Lux. I don't have the Lux this season, but I had it last season and I will link it down below because it's so worth a peek at. It's $499 and the value inside the box exceeded that. So it's crazy good. And now we have the brand new Modern Traditional. So four box options, plus they have all of their pop-up bundles. So I was digging around on their Easter shop because they just released their Easter bundles, which are not a part of the subscription. You can just add those on, and anybody can add those on. Anybody can shop those, but if you're a subscriber, you get an additional discount on those boxes. I'm um, here the two hours peeking it. Super cute, super Easter. I know, I know we just ended Valentine's, but I'm all in for Easter. I'm not gonna skip St. Patrick's, but I'm all in for Easter. Uh, I have links for those down below as well if you wanna take a peek at their Easter boxes. Uh, if you wanna use the coupon code PINK, free gift, you will receive a free item in your first box for new subscribers. And I'm gonna itemize everything down below. I always do that. My descriptions have everything that's in the box, any measurements you might wanna know. Of course, I show you in the video how I'm decorating with it. I show how we're mixing and matching things. But down below in the description is where almost all the really, really good details are. Okay, I pre-cut this open in hopes that I would not like flip the stool over. <gasps> Okay, so on top, it's wrapped like normal with the white paper and the seal. I would try to lean and show you, but I think I, I will end up hurting myself. I wonder if I should just put this straight on the floor. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let me just scoot it like this. We'll try up here, but I may end up shimming it to the floor. I can see the first item on top. 
do you think the first item on top could be that would make me smile? What is something that I love, a little picky about, but that I love? Greenery. Y'all, I love greenery. And these are preserved willow eucalyptus. It has care instructions because these are real preserved and made in the U.S. They are a product of Mother Nature and they have uniqueness in each stem, which is why I love dried greenery. And then it says for maximum longevity, it has tips and tricks on that. I'll be honest, I love my greenery really, really well. Actually, look. And so uh, it doesn't always last as long as it should, but man, do I get my use out of it. I use it here, there, and everywhere. Oh, two bundles of greenery. They smell divine. They smell so, so very good. So I buy greenery quite often, big shocker, right? And there is a highly respected boutique here in San Antonio that has very reasonable prices. They're not like one of those fancy schmancy and you're like everything in there is crazy. No, they have very reasonable prices and great brands. And I bought about this much of dry greenery of about this style. And with tax, it was about $54. So if I were to push this up, like if I were to go buy these, I would not go to Hobby Lobby. Sorry, just a personal thing. I like very fresh, very beautiful greenery that's going to last. Because like I said, I run hard on these things. I use them a lot. So I usually go to local boutiques. Um, a bundle this big, mind you, this one's flat because it was in shipping. It is going already. Gosh, you can already see it expanding. It's getting bigger. Uh, about $55. We'll say that for ease of math because goodness knows we all don't really particularly like math around here. So I'm gonna just really kind of run the value on this box and see. Inside each bundle is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four stems. Of course, some of these stems are huge and some of them are smaller. The color is great, the scent is great. We are off to a very good start. Okay, what do we see next in here? It's all wrapped really, really well, but of course they've always done a really good job of packing their stuff. So fun fact, I have been saving up all of this paper I've been getting in my boxes. It is my daughter's birthday coming up, and she has deemed that she wants an art-themed birthday. And I was like, oh, I have got to save all of the paper because they want to paint and dye and draw on shirt and shoes and bandanas and then wear the outfits that they make out to dinner for her birthday party. It's a whole thing. But then I also know that they're just going to kind of just get crazy and stuff's going to go everywhere. So. All of this I've been saving. I'm gonna go out to the driveway, tape it all down, and let them just wreck havoc in the driveway. Dying, tie-dying, painting. Uh, there's another one where you draw with Sharpie markers and spray alcohol, and it does this like cool thing. We've got it all scheduled out. We have this guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out because it looks like maybe it's a set of something. I was talking to Third in Maine, and these boxes are gonna start shipping at the end of February and be done by early, mid-March. So we're just, what, a week or so out from the boxes starting to ship and you guys getting your boxes. If you haven't already, go at, join Ask the Pink Envelope. It's our Facebook group. I'm trying to get better about this, posting a graphic that says, have you gotten your box? Show us what you did with it. Because I think it's so fun when we can all share decorating ideas. Um, I have one of those up already for Free Spirit February Bundle, for White Home Woods, for Dorothy Jean. So now that I know these are shipping, I'm gonna pop it up because I don't care which of the four boxes you get, I wanna see what you're doing with it. And that URL is right down below in the description as well. Oh, I don't, oh! I was like, I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm getting fingerprints on it, sorry. Does it hold tea lights? Can y'all see the inside right there? It's got like two little candle holders. That is very, very unique. Oh, let me get that off. There we go. That is, <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time like this. Can y'all see the way those, it connects? That's a very unique piece. I was just saying I need to buy some more tea lights for things like this because I submerged a bunch of mine in water and they died because you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, I see something black in here. Maybe it's not the same thing. Oh, it is. Oh, it's just packing materials. I was like, what? So this one has one, two, three tea lights. This one holds two tea lights. These are so 
unique. I just can't help but think if you were out having a picnic or like we, every time the weather is nice, we go eat in the backyard on the table out there. The ambiance these would create sitting on a table would be beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. And you don't have to use a real tea light. You totally could use the ones that turn off and on and flicker. So look at this guy here. Pardon my fingers. I did grab it when I was wrapping it. Now there's fingerprints all over it, but I promise that I will rectify that. I will get it wiped up. Okay. Now that we're getting to the bottom of the box, I'm definitely too short. So we're going to push the stool. Uh-oh. We may be making a little bit of a mess. We got a styrofoam guy. Everybody knows how much I love styrofoam. Oh, I got the bottom. This is gorgeous. This is also very heavy. Let's get all this out of the way. It's snowing. Ah, with the vacuum. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wore a white shirt. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. I feel like you'll see it now. It is 360, so you could put this just about anywhere and it's gonna look great. It is hardy, so floating shelves beware. I think it has feet on the bottom, yeah. Oh my gosh, so modern, traditional. So these are more traditional pieces. Although I feel like these are so funky and fun. This is definitely more traditional, but I'm thinking we're gonna be able to play with these things across the board. We'll see what else is in here, but these look very like, they would play with others well. Okay, we've got another one. <laughs> it's huge. It's packed the same way, so I'm wondering if we've got a set of some sort. Oh! No, I love this. It's nice and big and I love big things. This guy is fabulous. It's almost, I mean, how often do y'all see me wear white? I very rarely wear white and I promise I did not look at the box contents. I did not know what was in here. I am dressed to match this box. It's crazy. So it's like, this is a gloss and then the other is like a, a matte, a clay matte. Let's see, does it say anything down here? No, but you can kind of see the clay textures there. He's very, very tall, very hardy. Looks so good with this. Do these go in here, I wonder? You know I can't help myself but to try. This will also give these a chance to start fluffing because they've been laying flat for so long that they've taken that shape but I promise you the leaves will fall. They always do. <laughs> it's like, there we go. I feel like you can see them there. I'm like, it's not even tall enough to hold it all. Like my camera, I have to zoom out my camera. I always have to zoom out my camera for third main. They go big or go home and I love it. So we've got the, what we say, this is artichoke leaf finial. We've got two sheet candle holders. We've got this Hardy base that is 15 inches tall. We've got two sets of gorgeous smelling eucalyptus and there's now this guy down here. A water reed tray. If you've been there in my house, you know I have these sprinkled throughout in certain places. So like my entire laundry room is made out of this grass. I have it also in Emma's room. And then even on the gray piece, like when you walk in the front of my home, those baskets there, I've got a couple that are like made of this. I love this. You know why? This could get soaked in water. 
and covered in mold. Then you will just spray some bleach on it and hose it down and it's fine again because it is an all natural, very strong, very durable material. It is something that as it goes, the centers of these will start to pop and spread and the patina is gorgeous. So this is why I chose this particular material to use a lot throughout my home because I have two kids, I have a husband who lives here and we run both of our companies out of this house. So we get a lot of wear and tear on our things and I can say that this is a great material for wear and tear. So depending on how what your personality is, if you really appreciate the one and done, get the box, take it out, set it somewhere, this is your box. You can get it twice a year. It's not a massive investment. And set it up one and done. I will link tea lights, since I buy tea lights all the time, that I would recommend that you put in here down below in the description. Once again, the description is full of information, but it's only information about this box and what we're doing here. It doesn't have like a bunch of random links. If you are wanting to know other links, go down to the description to the URL that says subscription box coupon codes. They're all in there and you can play all day scrolling through hundreds of subscription boxes. You will notice that I did not pull out a booklet. For 2023, Third and Main took all of their boxes for two QR codes. They had a couple of reasons for this. One of them being QR codes are just easier. I know I constantly was like, hi guys. I lost the booklet. <laughs> can you email it to me? They just put it online. So now it's very convenient. You can access it anywhere. You can go to the browser, save it to your phone, save it on your computer and have it year round, which I love to save those. It's also more eco-friendly and they're really working to pack in more eco-friendly manners. As you might've noticed, this box was cut down to size. They very much cut it down to minimize packing. Um, and then of course not printing the booklet really helps save trees. So I love that they made that move. It does save money, it does save trees, but it's also just way more convenient. And when I was talking to the girls, they said there was a handmade, hand painted, very large item in the box. I believe it's this guy right here. So like I did notice when I looked down here, there was no weird disclaimers and no weird stamping and the base does look like very natural clay materials. And I love, love, love that. Okay, let me go pull some items. I've got so many items flying through my head that I want to stack out here so you can see what does the brand new modern traditional box do when it's pushed up against the contemporary box and the modern farmhouse box. Okay, this is just one setting. I had to control myself because in the contemporary and modern farmhouse video, this was like falling out everywhere. And I was like, okay, that's overwhelming. That, it rolled from being helpful to overwhelming and I didn't want to do that again. So what I basically created was an outdoor eating setting. It didn't have to be outdoor. It absolutely could be indoor. It's just that it's been like in the high 50s to low 70s here in Texas and it is outdoor eating weather. So I have it a bit on the brain, but if you wanted to bring it in to do a picnic in the living room or just eat at your dining room, you could. Do y'all remember this vase? I, th I, th I love how it pairs with this guy. Coordinating, not matching, and I wouldn't put anything in him. I would just leave him just like that. I love it. This is exactly the tray as was. I have two different types of tea lights in here. Both of them are great, nothing's wrong. This is more that organic flickering. These are those more consistent. I did put the fake ones with batteries. I really do think you probably could burn a real tea light in there and it wouldn't be a problem. Third main, if you're watching this, can we light a real tea light in these guys here? Let us know. Love this as an accent piece. This could go in an entryway. This could go in a kitchen. It could go in a bathroom, literally, literally this piece can go anywhere. I have it as a part of this like picnic setting. So you could, at the base of this guy, put um, parchment paper or butcher paper and sprinkle crackers and cheeses and everything all at the base and this could be a display. And then this came, I think, in our summer box last year. We've got the pitcher and the napkins and napkin rings, the table runner to create this eating setting. However, you do not have to go towards food or dining in any form or fashion with this box. You actually could do this as well. My mantle. As soon as I pulled out the vase with the eucalyptus, I was like, 
we're doing a mantle decorating. I had just taken down Valentine's and so we had been naked, just sitting here waiting. We have a birthday party coming up for a kiddo, then we're hosting a dinner at our church. So I really didn't want Valentine's to be up and I think this is exactly what I would want to be up for both the birthday party and entertaining friends. So I bought this sign 10 years ago. It's been a very long time from a small boutique in North Houston. I love it. And since we're having our church friends over, I thought it'd be fun to have it as a centerpiece on the mantle here. And then we're gonna do a really quick, really easy display. Throw on some music, decorate real quick, and then we'll loop back and chat. Okay, before we put these up, I want to chat just a bit because I was running into a little bit of a hiccup and if you guys get this and run into the same thing, I want you to have the solution as well. So, when you put these guys in, they're having a tendency to want to fall to one side or the other. So let me just set it right here and I'll show you. Can y'all see right there? Yeah, you can see pretty well. It's so like you put them in and they just don't seem to want to be fluffing. And I kept rotating them and they kept flopping no matter what. And then I realized the reason they're flopping and doing this is because they're bundled at the bottom. I'm not giving them any choice. So, I am literally gonna take a pair of scissors, stuck them in my pocket so I wouldn't lose them. And I'm gonna snip both of the bands at the bottom. You do not have to do this. You can, if you put them in there and you gave them some time, I think they really would settle in. But I, I don't, I wanna play. So I'm popping those bands off. And I'm gonna separate these guys to some degree so that they start to get their own personality in life. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? It's almost like I've given them too much life now. Look at them, they're everywhere. This is so great. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Ooh, so to the side, you don't want the, the bias going out that way or coming into the print. Ooh, I have to step back and look, I don't know. This moment, can we stay here? Forever, 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 forever. Oh, I really like the way that one branch is falling and then that one's lifting up. And seriously, I wouldn't overthink it. Done. I know this is very simple for me. Normally I go crazy, but I think Jonathan is gonna love this. Fun fact, I love to move the furniture out of my house, fill it with tables and throw a dinner party. I love doing it. My last house was significantly bigger, so we could do significantly bigger parties, but I'm learning how in this house here to do the same thing. So we are gonna do that with our guests because I just don't know what the weather is gonna be doing in February. It's so finicky. Like right now, if you can see out these windows, crazy windstorm because we're getting a cold front. And by a cold front, that means we're gonna get down to 53. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. Anyways, I digress. Don't overthink it. Leave this design, maybe add a couple more things. Take the basket. I put a book I'm reading. I got the new um, Fiddle Leaf Fig book. 
uh, from Happy Happy Houseplant. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her down in the description. So cute. Her house is like my dream home. And uh, she's been helping me re like rehab a fig that was two sticks and it looks gorgeous now. If I can sneak a photo, I'll plug it in right here because I'm very proud of going from sticks to this. But anyways, reading this book, I threw the remote in here and that's it. I am literally gonna take this, toss it on the table and I'm done. This is it. I love it. Organic, natural pieces, handmade pieces, Pieces that are very near and dear to my heart. We have light and of course the girls have their pillow and blanket basket. We're set, the mood's been set. I'm gonna eat lunch next and I'm gonna eat lunch in front of the fire because after all, it's gonna be almost 50. When else can I use my fireplace in Texas? I kid, it actually is gonna get down to 32 tonight, but high of 52. <laughs> all right, so we have to run through Final thoughts on the brand new 3rd and, and Main semi-annual modern traditional box. I love it. I love it. I can say I know that these go for about $55. I'm having a hard time pricing the rest out in my head. So box price is at $275. That is a 15 inch tall. I mean, look, it's on the mantle. Look how big it is. Handmade vase. So, I mean, depending on where you're shopping, you're gonna be between 75, 85 on the absolute lowest end, up to about 100 in the vase alone. Once again, I'm trying to think from local boutiques that are not like astronomically high, that are just reasonable and do a great job. Then we have both of these. These are so unique. I just like don't even know how to price those. But I would say the fennel is $45. If I were to go buy one of that significance, there's texture all in each of the leaves. It's a higher end. It's not like just a rounded. Each of the leaves are detailed. 45, 55, so 200. And we still have both of these and the basket plus shipping plus the curation, because I did nothing. For all of you who always are telling me, your house looks so beautiful. I always feel so guilty saying thank you because I didn't actually do anything. I opened my box and stuck the stuff up and was like, now I'm walking around going, oh, thank you. I didn't do anything. The curators at these amazing subscription boxes did everything. So um, I'm saying yes on value. I think it's a great box. I think the curation's great. The quality is outstanding. I love it. And I can't wait to see where they go from here. So, depending on your goal, you can add this box in with your Lux, your contemporary, your modern farmhouse, or you can just do this box. When I spoke to them, they said they were receiving quite a few requests for people saying, hey, I need a box because I want to have the box. I thoroughly enjoy having the box in my life but I need less, either they're paring down or they have several subscriptions, so they need one that's not quite as frequent or whatever the reasoning is. So Third and Main said, okay, we'll answer that. Here you go. But they also made it where if you wanna pair it with any subscription, you can. And I love that. I love the intentionality behind the boxes that they're delivering to us. I am on cloud nine. After opening all three of these boxes, my house looks so chic but we've only just begun, like literally only just begun. Uh, I've got Season House, I've got Just Deco, I've got Just Greenery, I've got Balance Co. I can't even remember them all. I got my new FabFitFun box. I, huh, we're gonna talk about a real funny story with FabFitFun in that video because I will title it Just My Luck. This is Just My Luck. That's gonna be your hint for that. But I have my FabFitFun coming. Um, I need to check on Dermy Doc. I, their spring box is always good. I freaking love their summer box. So those are coming up. What else? I know there's more, but I'm out here and not in my office and my brain just can't. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me when I see that little logo by y'all's name when you're down there commenting. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on Modern Traditional, maybe your favorite piece on Modern Traditional. And if you are already a 3rd and Main subscriber, will you lean in and just show the love for 3rd and Main? 
I have been so impressed with everything they're doing, but I'm just one person, right? Just me talking about it doesn't have the impact that if somebody can log in and go through and read the comments and be like, oh, everybody is loving Third and Main. This is real. And that'll help people find out if this is a subscription box for them. Not every box is for everyone, but I'm here to make sure you find the box that is the one for you. I hope that you're having a very, very blessed week. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all. Making messes, making messes. I wonder if this will work in the laundry room. This would be cute. <laughs>